Okay, in this video, we're going to use Microsoft Excel to calculate a variety of information, uh, mostly derived from the t-test. Um, so we're going to learn how to calculate our t-star values using computation in Microsoft Excel and how to find the probability associated with a given t-score. You'll see in kind of my notes column here that I have the equations already written out, but we're still going to work through them together. So if given a situation where we have a 95% confidence level and 31 degrees of freedom, remembering that n minus one is equal to our degrees of freedom. So in this case, we'd have a sample size of 32, which means we have a number of degrees of freedom of 31. So for our alpha, all it is is equal to one minus our confidence level. This is our significance level or our, our critical probability of 0.05. Our area to the left, if we have a two-tailed uh, T distribution, is simply equal to one minus alpha divided by two. <clears throat> and then to calculate the T star associated with this at a 95% confidence level in a two-tailed test, all we're gonna say is equal T dot INV. The probability here is going to be the area to the left, and then we're asked to put in our degrees of freedom, which is 31, and we calculate it just like that. So our T star with 31 degrees of freedom and a confidence level of 95% with a two-tailed test, our critical T score will be 2.03951. Now there's another way you could calculate this. We're just gonna say equals T dot INV. Since we have a two-tailed test, we'll select our two-tailed test. In this case, where it says probability, we're going to select our alpha value, and then we're gonna select our degrees of freedom, and then you'll see that we get exactly the same value. The only difference is that the setup of the equation is a little bit different. Let's move down to looking at what if we calculate a t-score using our t-test and we want to know what is the probability that t is less than or equal to the t-score that we've calculated. In other words, what is the area to the left since it's less than or equal to? So all we're going to do here is say equals t dot distribution, and we're going to put in our t-critical. We're then going to select our degrees of freedom, which is 31. And then we're asked whether or not true or false. Well, we're looking for the area to the left and we're looking for the cumulative distribution function. So yes, that's what we're looking for. So we're going to say true, which gives us an area to the left of 2.26 of uh, 0 0.9845034. Now, what if we were asked, what is the probability that T is greater than or equal to 2.26? Well, there are two ways we can do this. The one way is to simply do equals one minus the area to the left, which was what we just calculated. So you could do it like that. The other way you could do this is through um, a simple Excel for calculation. So in this case, we're looking for the right tails, the area to the right. So we're looking for the area in the right tail. So all we're gonna say is equals T dot distribution dot, and then here it says RT for right tail. We're going to select our t-score, we're going to put in our degrees of freedom, and there you have it exactly. You can compare these two values and you can see that they're exactly the same. Two different ways of arriving at that computation, um, but both no less give you exactly the same answer. That's it for this video, but if you found that it helped to make statistics easy, consider showing your support by giving the video a like. And if you still need more help with statistics, then consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. I look forward to solving many more problems with you next time.